Nigerian Braves will have a long-term sustainability agenda. We we'll call it Brave Better World. And that agenda has three main pillars. We have environmental, we have social and responsible. Now under environmental, we look at things that impact how our operations impact the environment in the long term. And part of that uh, pool, we have what we call circularity, under which we have protecting watersheds. Now we realize that from United Nations studies, some parts of Nigeria are water stressed, especially Lagos, Oyo, Ogo, and Oshun states. Now the forest reserve, the Lokomoji Forest Reserve, is situated in a place that could support the river basin around, and then we're able to not only protect watersheds, but also restore and then balance water. Like they say, water is life, and we all need water. And if we do not have water for our local communities, for industries, for manufacturers like ourselves, then of course we wouldn't have life. So because of that, we thought to develop this plan, this long-term goal, it's a 10-year plan, where we have a goal to plant 600,000 trees over the course of the project. So for 10 years, starting from 2021 up until 2030, we have that goal. And then in partnership with the IIT and the Ogun State Government, we are executing it as planned. With this reforestation exercise, we are, we are able to restore, to balance water, to restore healthy watersheds. And, and because of that, because the goal is to support the restoration of healthy watersheds, then in that sense it's sustainable. But we also have technical partners and government on the other side so that all of the external factors that could impact the project to make it fail are, are, are guarded against. You know, so with the IIT as technical partners and then government in itself product, providing all the, all the support that we will need, we are then able to progress it. Over the course of the project, we have milestones for how many trees we want to plant per, per year, right? And then to, to um, accumulate at the end of the 2030, we would have planted 600,000 trees. So it's measurable because we know that what we achieve in 2021, we know what to achieve in 2022, all the way to 2030. So we, in that sense, it's measurable. Now, as we plant trees, we are also able to, to determine how much water we're already balancing, you know? And so that is also measurable. So the reports we get from our technical partners suggest that we're already making progress in that regard, number of trees planted, amount of water being balanced over the course of the period. So far, so good. That it may be 287,000 trees that it be covering about 258 hectares. So, let me 50 share. A majority of them, you know, I believe they locate at them. I believe they are small. Locate, no, 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 Igbe aye awon to ngbe lo loke meji na o se koko siwa this year at the train about 25 people ni pa osin oyin a de fun won ni apoti oyin in fact ni agbada train won ton mo titi pada wa leyin gba yen ti ya wa suwo pe apoti ta gbe fun yin ti e ti lo gbe sibi to ye ke gbe sibi a se ni ke se se leyin gbada ti se eto idani lekoton so we want to appreciate the Nigerian Buries, the IATA, for the efforts and the collaboration they have been making with us for making it a point of duty to plant trees together with us, which has been very, very productive and result-oriented. Last time that I came here, sometimes in July, we saw all the trees planted by Nigerian Buries and IITA, and they are doing very, very well, very, very fantastic. When we saw the North Street too, we are highly impressed, and the impact they are making in this particular area that we are right now. So this is a partnership. It's a partnership between a multinational Nigerian breweries, a partnership between Nigerian breweries, Ogun State Government and the IITA, but most especially the local communities. And what the IITA has done for us and very strongly too, is to get the support, the buying of the local communities so that they now see this project as theirs and they're able to protect it. Because if we have people who fell trees and who are not patient enough to wait for the economic benefits to, for 
everyone, then we already have a problem. But because we have that support from our local communities, we're seeing the project go on as planned. And for us, that, that's fantastic news.